Anton is a, a fictionalized interpretation, as Yoko says, of an, a son's fading memory of his mother. So some things seem very big, some things very small. But basically, it's about a sense of longing and a sense of loss and a sense of memory. You wonder first, okay, so what is this intimate relationship? Who's Anton? Was this a lover? Is this a husband? And in fact, the relationship is the most primal relationship between a child and his mother. When we first were given the opportunity to show here, we were shown a number of spaces, and a lot of them were kind of museum-like, and you know, white walls, cubes, kind of thing. But when we went to the Palazzetto Tito, which is where the exhibition is, it's an old house, it was lived in by artists, and it's a house that just breathes. So the house became a character in, in the story as well. What's great about Yoko's work is that it's a very personal story and the, the show is trying to be a very specific personal story but in fact it's completely universal. So the exhibition is made up of new work but at the base of it are the instruction works. There's a painting to be slept on which when she did it in the 60s is full of perhaps exuberance and you know things that happen on the bed can be very exciting. In this context it's the end of the road so you see a very grim metal bed. So it's a painting to be slept on, but it's been a very long life. This is the final resting place. So the bed kind of rises up, and then there's a Sky TV, another early work, literally a filming of the sky that you see as you're looking at it. Uh, so the show is all about present and past and memory, and it's very um, participatory. the audience. It can take a piece of the sky uh, out of World War II very badly and sort of horrifyingly used helmets. What's nice about this show is that there's so much of every aspect of Yoko in it that um, it feels like a real whole. So there is a piece in the show um, called Touch Me, which again started as a as a um, instruction work, um, which was just touch touch people, and um, it, this is called Touch Me Three. It was originally uh, shown at the Lalonde Gallery in New York, and it was made out of a silicone material that had the pliancy of flesh, and it was the color of flesh on a table with a little almost religious font of water, and you're supposed to wet your finger and touch. But when it was at Lalong, it was the invitation was to touch, but a lot of people punched and dug their fingers in and gouged and ripped off toes. Um, and Yoko was horrified and was in a quandary about what to do. But because Yoko really is about moving beyond, she simply decided to put up a, a text over the piece that said, this work has been damaged by some of the viewers who have come to this exhibition. I now dedicate it to all women who have suffered abuse. So the incarnation of this piece now is that it's made out of the most beautiful Carrera marble. It's about, okay, you can, you can try to beat me up, but I am strong and you're not going to defy me. There's a lot of bookending in the show. To see the two cut pieces together is particularly fascinating because it's the cut piece where the Maisel brothers shot Yoko in 65 and then went in her 30s and then you see her in her 70s and she's sitting on a chair and the whole, not only is the dynamic, the body language of Yoko different, but the way the audience interacts with her is completely different and kind of sums up her career. It's about Yoko who started as this power artist, is still a power artist, but also has, you know, for better or worse, become this icon.